there is this famous story of Sir Isaac Newton where he sits under a tree and an apple falls over his head okay at that time Sir Isaac Newton realized that any object okay be it this marker any object always when released from a certain height falls down it does not go up it comes down okay we sleeping in the bed we feel very good we going to the gym we feel very bad okay we feel really good sleeping in the bed whereas we feel very lazy to do any kind of work okay he realized that this particular phenomena where everything wants to come down it does not want to go up okay he realized this phenomena is not something to be taken for granted he realized that no some kind of work has to be done in this particular field or in this particular phenomena so that at least i know why i feel very good or very relaxed sleeping in the bed rather than going to a gym or doing any kind of activity okay then he comes out with a particular law okay that is the law of gravitation where he explains okay any two objects any two objects having different masses for example uh, let me take the mass of this particular object as 100 g and this particular object as 500 g this is heavier than this one okay so any two objects when released from the same height with initial velocity to be zero falls at the same speed and at the same time okay the weight the mass of the object okay there was a difference of 400 grams between those two objects yet they fell down and hit the ground at the same time with the same speed okay so this is what gravity is this is what Newton came out with his idea of gravity that everything that goes up has to come down okay and then after this particular idea after this particular thought of Newton he realizes one more thing that since this okay assume that this is a sun and this is the earth where we live okay we go on in a particular orbit around the sun okay just like all the other nine planets then he says that this particular law or this particular force that is responsible for everything that goes up comes down okay this phenomena it is also true for objects like this okay for massive objects for example our planets the solar system okay where the moon revolves around the earth okay in a particular orbit and the earth orbits around the sun venus mercury jupiter mars etc okay so this particular force can also be applied to all the planetary bodies okay so he comes out with a mathematical formula for this particular law as f is equal to g m1 m2 divided by r square my f is directly proportional to m1 and m2 that is the mass of the two bodies okay this is the mass of the uh, m1 is the mass of body 1 in this particular case i am assuming earth to be m1 and moon to be m2 okay and f is also inversely proportional to 1 by r square where r square is the distance between the two bodies okay so in this particular case when i increase the mass of the two objects okay when i increase the mass of the two objects the gravitational force increases okay and when i decrease the mass of the two objects the gravitational force decreases also when i increase okay so when i increase the distance between the two objects okay the gravitational force decreases and when i decrease the distance the gravitational force increases 
that's why it is inversely proportional okay this is also known as this is also coming from the inverse square law so this is what newton came out regarding the explanation of the force called gravitational force or the force of gravity okay where everything goes up comes down and every massive object revolves every other objects is attracted to a massive object and it revolves around it okay the moon around the sun the earth moon around the earth and the earth around the sun and the rest of the solar system so this was what newton said regarding gravitation then in the early 20th century there happened to be a physicist whose name was professor albert einstein who described gravity not as a force but as a space time curvature okay as a space time curvature where he said that there happens to be a fabric a space time fabric where you keep a massive object in it and there in that space time fabric there happens to be a dip like this okay something like this this is my space time fabric okay and when i place a heavy massive object on it then there happens to be a dip this is the space time curvature okay this is how einstein defined gravity okay and then he said that when a ray of light when a ray of light passes through a massive objects okay when a ray of light passes passes through a massive object the ray of light bends okay and this theory was very much helpful in speculating the very existence of a black hole okay from which nothing can escape not even your pen pencil eraser scale okay light etc so a black hole is a substance uh, is a phenomena where the more closer you go more will be the pull of gravity okay and slower will be the time okay this is what einstein said regarding your gravity at the quantum realm the force between two objects is described as the exchange of a particle okay so if i consider this particular case uh, consider this rocket to be one object consider this uh, surface as second object okay so according to your quantum realm okay the force between these two object is mediated by the exchange of a particle okay in the in this case it is graviton so this exchange particle carries the energy and the momentum between the objects and is said to mediate the interaction in the case of gravity there exists this hypothetical particle okay this is a hypothetical particle called graviton which is responsible to mediate the force of gravity okay though this particle has not yet been discovered but if it exist okay but if it exist then it has to be massless okay because from the properties of the gravitational force the range of the gravitational force is infinity therefore this particle has to be massless okay similar to that of a photon and it has to propagate at the speed of light okay so this is your brief introduction to gravitational force